I'm not a fan of the mox toe type of boot. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of product review, specifically footwear design. And sometime here and there, I will sneak in a couple of clothing pieces that I think they are interesting to share with you guys. And I always create few different looks to give you guys ideas how to styling with the product that I did my review with. And in this video, I'm gonna do a review on this classic iconic red wings six inches mock boot in my opinion red wings and short nyc they are one of the best brand out there in the market especially the make in america product because not a lot of brand they are making usa a lot of brand they manufacture overseas so we got to protect and support this type of brand like short nyc red wings and obviously with this quality and the rich history, you gotta pay the price for it, right? Uh, this boot is not that cheap. Uh, the pricing on these shoes though is $310. At first, I wasn't really feeling it. After I went through the entire experience, unbox the shoe, look at the craftsmanship, the quality, the material that they use on these shoes, I nod my head, I know why they are cost $310. Uh, this model, they offer a full range of colorways, but I think the tan colorway is the most iconic colorways. They also offer two different whip, the regular whip and the wide whip. Uh, even though I have the wide feet, I still purchased the regular whip. I think they fit me very good. The regular whip look very good from the top down view. I just don't want to see so wide of the boot from the top down view because you are the person that wear the shoes, right? You only have the self-conscious of, okay, if this whip, it look ugly, you will think the entire, it's gonna affect your entire outfit. You will keep thinking that your outfit is not looking good. That's why the top down view on the shoes is very important. I think I mentioned this a lot in other video too, not just this video. And the comfort on the shoes though is amazing. This is a few boot that I feel amazing on my feet, fresh off the box. I feel like this boot is belong to you before you own them, right? That feeling that fit you like a club, it's just not a lot of brand that able can do that. And not just the comforts alone, they have the beautiful premium patina leather. This premium patina leather will age like fine wine, just like a pair of raw denim jeans that you have in your classes. If you like the way how I reviewed the shoes so far, give me a thumb up. I would truly appreciate it. And let's get a closer up into the detail of the shoes. The shoes have seven metal eyelets with the leather backing in the linings because in this area, they have a lot of tension there. And these laces, they have two colors in gold and brown colors. In the corner, you can see they have triple stitches detail in black and cream colorways. And on the top line of the shoes, they have binding to give it more like a cleaner finishing instead of the raw edge also give you a better compress you don't feel any irritation when you put on the shoes with gusses in tongue the shoes doesn't have lining from the quarter all the way to the back of the heel because the leather that they use in this upper they already very durable and they are very thick but in the toe area they actually have a thick piece of leather linings that is give you more support and also the durability of the toe and in the footbed they use leather sock liner with the embossed of red wing shoes branding logo at first when i see the graphic of the wing is very similar to each other red wing and honda because of the wing graphic that they create that represent for their brand and underneath of this footbed they feel with croc so croc is the very good material for cushioning and also the croc material is gonna mold into your feet over time and another thing is croc is recycled materials and go to the tooling of the shoes they have the leather welting and underneath of this leather welting they have the rubber sheet 
uh, the material that they use in this outsole is not rubber it's the polyurethane outsole tooling instead of rubber polyurethane it's a plastic material it's lighter and more flexible than traditional rubber outsole tooling and also it gives you a better abrasions and non-slipping and this boot give you additional three centimeter in height from all that detail and spec on the shoes no wonder they are very expensive you know three hundred and ten dollar you pay what you get there's no such thing as a cheap price with high quality products but I have one complaint on this book in the back of this stitching detail man missing some stitches closer to the top line is a no-no for me but i believe it's not gonna affect the shoe's longevity however i just want the perfect stitching i'm that kind of person that very picky on some stitching detail the crooked or missing some stitches i'm very picky on those because this boot is not cheap so that's why you demand a perfect execution on the shoe overall i think the shoes worth the money because the quality leather that they use on this upper and the construction on these entire shoes, they can last you a long time for sure. Um, especially the leather material that they use on this upper though. Um, I bet you this quality leather is gonna last longer than the outsole tooling. And styling with this boot, I think, I don't know. At first, I don't know what to style with this. I just don't want to go with the typical outfit like a raw salvage denim jeans with the biker leather jacket with this boot, right? That is majority people styling with this boot. I'm not going that path because I have my own personal style too. I usually create three different outfits to go with the products. This time I create four different outfits. I hope you will enjoy it. Red Wing Make in America product, we must support this type of product, right? Um, they not just because they make in America, but the quality and the craftsmanship on this product is top notch. That's what you pay for, right? $300 for a pair of boots. Um, these two brands though, Red Wings and Short NYC, they are amazing brands. Um, I hope you guys will support them more because if you are actually looking for sustainable product, then this type of product that you need to support. Not just buy some product that they marketing as a standable product, but you end up spending, buy more pair from them or buy more stuff from them. And that stuff is not even last longer than two seasons. The real sustainable product is the good quality product that you spend on, like this type of boot from Red Wings, like the leather jacket from Short NYC, right? Those are last for years. So don't looking for like a pair of vegan type of boot. It's annoying me so much. Fake leather is fake leather. Don't just put the name vegan into the product. Even though I'm doing reviewing this, 
iconic red wing boot. I'm still not really loving the toe of this boot. Maybe in the future and the experience with this red wing boot will bring me out of my comfort zone. And if you like one of the look in this video, comment below in the comment section and give me a thumb up. Subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.